Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will clear all the doubts about the launching of the new Yamaha RX100 or I can say the comeback of this model. That's right, the legendary RX100 is making a return and today I'm going to talk about everything I know so far. Its features, pricing, engine specifications and when you expect to see in the streets. And if you are a fan of the original or just love classic bikes with a modern twist, so stick around of this video because this is going to be a great one. So let's start the video. Let's take a quick look back at a time when Yamaha RX100 has a massive following. The original RX100 was launched in 1985 and quickly became a cultural icon, especially in India. Back then, its 98.2cc two-stroke engine was the perfect blend of power and agility. It was light, fast and had a raw sound that made it stand out on the streets. Not only the fan was an everyday commuter, but it also had a reputation for being a performance beast. It was discontinued in 1996 largely due to the stricter emission norms that phased out of two-stroke engines. But in the years that followed, the RX100 maintained its cult status. People restored it, modified it, and some even kept their original RX100s in mint condition. Now, fast forward to 2024, and Yamaha has officially announced the comeback of the RX100 and it is not just a refresh model of the older version, it's a complete upgrade model that meet modern standards both in terms of performance and emissions. The new RX100 is expected to feature a BS6 compliant engine which is critical for the Indian market due to the country's emissions regulations. What makes this exciting is that Yamaha is likely to power the new RX100 with a 4-stroke engine in the 225cc range. This is a huge leap from the original 98cc engine but still in line what fans expect a lightweight and a powerful motorcycle. With an expected output of over 20 bhp and around 19.9 Nm of torque, it is going to be way more powerful than its competitors. So let's talk about the design because this is where Yamaha is striking a balance between the old and new. While the new RX100 will feature a retro modern design, Yamaha wants to keep the essence of the original intact. So expect elements like a round headlamp, teardrop shaped fuel tank and a flat seat all of which screams RX100 old model. However, they are bringing in modern features too. We can expect LED headlights, a fully digital instrument console and possibly even alloy wheels. These are practical additions that will consider the modern rider needs and it will likely feature ABS as standard along with the better suspension for a smoother ride. So it's all about blending the nostalgia of the classic RX100 with the technology of today. Now one of the biggest question in mind is how the bike will perform on the road. We know the original RX100 was quick for its size but Yamaha is taking things up a notch with the new model. The expected 4 stroke engine will much larger around 225cc as opposed to the original 98cc two-stroke engine. This new engine will not only offer power but also fuel injected which means it will give you a smoother throttle response and better fuel efficiency. You will also get improved emissions thanks to the BS6 compliance which was something the original two-stroke engine struggled with back in the day. The new RX100 will likely to be more suited for both city riding and longer weekend trips thanks to its improved power and efficiency. Let's move on to the some practical details, pricing and the launch date. As of now, Yamaha has not officially confirmed the price, but based on market expectations, the RX100 could be priced between 1.25 lakh to 1.50 lakh. This positions it in a competitive market alongside bikes like Royal Enfield Honda 350, Honda CV 350 and TVS Ronin. As for the launch date, rumors suggest that we could see the RX100 hitting showrooms by late 2025 or early 2026. Yamaha is taking its time to perfect for this model, making it sure for the both modern and standard looks. So this is the video for now. What is your thought on this model? Please mention that on the comment box below. Until next time, be safe, ride safe.